And covering Pickens County tonight, we're hearing from investigators for the first time since the chief sheriff's deputy was arrested. CBS 42 News reporter Tim Reed is in Pickens County tonight with some reaction. I spoke with several Pickens County residents who tell me they are disappointed and upset that another law enforcement officer in the county is in trouble. The district attorney tells us these types of cases will not be tolerated. It's, it's very sad and very upsetting. You know, people that you, we count on every day is letting us down. It seems to be the talk of the town in Carrollton. Many people are disappointed that Jonathan Gann, the former chief deputy for the Pickens County Sheriff's Office, was arrested. I think he should be processed, arrested, and go through the court system. Or if they make bond, make bond, and go to the court and be held accountable. Gann is charged with theft of property and tampering with evidence. We're told this all came about after an investigation was requested by the Pickens County Sheriff and the District Attorney. As a result, Gann was fired. He served 10 years with the department. Chief Deputy Jonathan Gann was arrested by the State Bureau of Investigation and uh, placed in custody last night. He has since made bond. Nearly four weeks ago, CBS 42 interviewed the new sheriff, Todd Hall, who replaced former sheriff David Abston, who was arrested in June on federal fraud charges. Authorities did not say if these two cases are connected. The man you see here wearing the black shirt is Jonathan Gann. That investigation yielded um, facts and evidence um, that pointed to um, criminal culpability in regard to Chief Gann. Well, I was both surprised and uh, disappointed. I had just learned of it uh, this morning earlier, and so I don't really know any of the circumstances, but it's a, it's a shame. At today's press conference, I tried to get more details about this case, but officials did not answer any of our questions. The DA says in the future, he plans to release more details. In Pickens County, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Tim, thanks.